Can somebody call my phone? I'll call it. Who is this? This is Jaden. You tell your mom she looks beautiful. <laughs> yeah, bye, you guys. Bye. bye. I just want to make sure that we have everything exactly right. Let's get started. Are you aware that Carolyn William is murdered? When was the last time you were in Carolyn's apartment? Uh, we had cases together. Sometimes we would work after hours at her apartment. Your fingerprints were found in her bedroom. Were you and Carolyn romantically involved? My suspect. Because I did not kill her. Whoa. All Ooh, right, that was anything like with that. Jake Gyllenhaal I'm watching. So that was part of the trailer for the thriller series Presumed Innocent. It's streaming now on Apple TV+. Plus. It's just one of the many great things to watch right now. Yeah, so if you're looking for a little downtime in the AC, our friend Josh McBride is joining us now with more on that and three other picks. Joshy McBee, thank you for being here so we don't have to sit there and just scroll and be like, what do I want to watch? <laughs> yeah, I did the work for you, and it's better to be in the AC with this thick heat. Wait, Scott, did you say you're watching Presumed Innocent? No, I, I would like to with I, Jake Gyllenhaal. I'll watch good. anything with it. That's fair. Carrie, you're, you're not watching that either? No, but I want to now. I didn't even know it existed. Okay, guys, this... I gotta be honest with you, this is the most trending talked about series in this moment. We are, it's one of those series where you can actually catch up week to week because they don't they don't put everything out there. So let me tell you a little bit about it. Uh, Presumed Innocent is the American legal thriller miniseries, which is, you know, I love those, created uh, based on the 1987 novel of the same name. Now the series is the first television adaptation of the book following the 1990 film, you may remember, uh, starring Harrison Ford. Now the show is about a horrific murder that upends the Chicago pros prosecuting attorney's office when one of its own suspect of the crime, uh, essentially leaving the accused fighting to keep his family together, stars Jake Gyllenhaal. This is available on Apple TV+. Plus. Guys, this one is a week-to-week -week nail biter on the edge of your couch. Uh, everybody I know is watching this one, and it's one of those, I don't know, I was just telling your executive producer, Caitlin, if you remember the undoing that everyone was obsessed with with Nicole Kidman during COVID, this is that, right? Who did it? What do they do? How do you find out? Each week you learn a little bit more. Can I ask a question without giving too much away? Is Jake Gyllenhaal married to somebody else? In in the movie? Yeah. I mean, in the show? Yeah. Y he's married. Yeah, in oh. the show. Oh, boy. Oh, is that all you wanted to know? <laughs> That's all I wanted to know. Okay, I want to know about the next one you're going to talk about because I've seen it promoted on my Netflix, Your Honor. And I know it... Yes, it's, okay. I just don't know if it's something I want to watch. So I'm like, oh, what's that about? <clears throat> So if I was to favor out of these two, I binged Your Honor. Uh, there's two seasons out of it. It's on Netflix. It's a crime series where a judge starts blurring the lines of justice after his son is involved in a fatal hit and run accident. It stars Brian Cranston and Hope Davis. The first season, guys, will have your stomach in knots. Now you may, like you said, Kara, have been seeing that it's been trending on Netflix these last few weeks. The good news is I love a limited series. Uh, I don't think they meant to do it as a limited series, but there's only two uh, seasons out. So that's the bad news. Uh, but if the first episode doesn't keep you entertained, uh, I don't really know what to tell you because this series, I would I would even put this before uh, Presumed Innocent because yeah. you can actually get through it, but it's really that good, a nail biter. Uh, you yeah. can catch Your Honor on Netflix. And it's still, even, this was actually done, I believe, last year, and it's now number one on Netflix. Wow, that's great. Wow. That's, that looks really good. Okay, you got me, I'm gonna do it's it. So okay, good. the next one, Family Affair. <laughs> Kara, this, I feel like you would probably love this. This is a, a family <laughs> affair. This is uh, this is fun. It's cute. It's it's kind of cutesy. It's a 2024 romantic comedy film. Now, I, Kara, I feel like this is so right up your alley. Uh, it might be up Scott's alley for other reasons. The film stars Nicole Kidman and Zac Efron. Oh. Uh, Liza Koshy also in there. Kathy Bates is in it. The film oh, revolves around Bates. a widowed writer who begins a relationship with a young actor, Zac Efron, who her daughter works for. Now, it was released by Netflix, also in the top of Netflix to watch right now. Um, it's cute, but everyone is doing this sort of, if you guys notice, like everyone is doing this sort of like older woman, younger man type storyline. Yeah. Oh. It's cute. I'd say watch it so you're there, but the, the storyline is not new. Okay. I was, do like Nicole Kidman, but I'm used to her right now seeing her in some like psychological thriller, so who knows? Was that the actress I, from- Can I tell you? Yeah, go ahead, Josh. Sorry. 
I will tell you, Kara, I will tell you one thing. This is a really cute film. It's like a feel good film. It's cutesy. But like, I'm so used to, like you said, Nicole Kidman being in those like really dramatic, intense, incredible roles. This was a little bit like more fun, more kind of, you know, off the cuff for her. Okay. okay. All right. Man with a thousand kids. I saw the trailer for this. I'm like, a man exists with a thousand kids. It's a true story, I yeah. guess. This is insane. This is also on the top of Netflix right now. The three-part docu-series, The Man with a Thousand Kids. Currently, I believe the number one show on the streaming platform uh, for this reality. It recounts a true story of multiple couples and single women who discovered that their sperm donor was a prolific donor, fathering hundreds of children across various countries and continents. He donated to 11 sperm banks in the Netherlands, which boasts a population of about seven, 17 million, excuse me, or just half of Texas, I believe. It also uh, made private donations. Really a lot to dissect here. The Man with a Thousand Kids can be caught on Netflix. Uh, kind of begs the question, like, did he do wrong? What did he do wrong? Is it okay? A um, lot of questions to go over after that. Wow. And that means those kids have, they call them diblings now, if you're a sibling via donor. So that's a lot of diblings. That's a lot of diblings. Um, okay. Right. And finally, America's Sweethearts. Right. I did not know that, Kara. That sounds like an appetizer at a Super Bowl party. <laughs> um, America Sweethearts. Uh, this is actually a really interesting one. Also, one of the top ones right now on Netflix, uh, America Sweethearts, is a seven-episode docu-series that premiered on Netflix in June. Now, it chronicles the journey of new and returning members of the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders as they audition for the squad and prepare for the next season, the 2023 season. What's really interesting about this is you kind of feel like it might be a little flatline when you first start, but like these women have so much uh, strength and devotion oh, to yeah. the craft of dancing. And actually one would think that if you're already on the team or the squad, you don't have to audition again. You actually do, which is, I, I kind of like that because it gives a sense of kind of, well, it's open to everybody, it's equal. You can catch um, America's Sweethearts on Netflix. All right. Well, yeah, thank Elena you. wants to watch that. She keeps telling me. Yeah. All right. We got yeah. a lot to do. A lot, a lot to watch. Josh, thank you so much. Guys, always a pleasure. Happy weekend. Happy weekend to you as well. All right. Still ahead on Great Day, Connecticut.